I welcome all of you chiropractors. Like many of you, I've been intimately involved with the Washington State Chiropractic Association since its inception. And this year, I'm gonna begin my third time as president of the association over the 25 years that I've been a member. That sounds a little bit crazy, but it just kind of worked out that I was in the right place at the right time. Because there's many of you out there that could do exactly what I'm doing. I just have to be here. I've remained involved with the association all this time because I saw early on the potential the WSCA had to lead our profession into the future, while well, paying homage. I know all the old guys honoring, are honoring the people of the past. I think that's important to know where we came from. It's not enough for us to offer a drugless healthcare. Someone has to be there on the front lines, actively fighting to protect patient choice, removing barriers to care, and continually reminding our policymakers, insurers, and even the general public that there is a safe, natural way to maintain good health. And I have always believed, and I do now, that the WFCA is our profession's most excellent resource and most stalwart ally in doing just that. The healthcare delivery landscape has changed a lot throughout my career, tremendously. And I have no doubt that it's gonna be changing even more. I had a discussion with Dr. Butters about that this morning. How do we adapt to those changes? And the degree to which we can affect them is critical in our profession going forward. We gotta keep our thumb on the pulse of what's happening because if we don't, they're just gonna run right over us. I have no doubt about that. How do we adapt to these changes? I'm not positive, we need your help. The work the association is doing on your behalf could play an indispensable role in shaping the future of healthcare. Despite the challenges we face, this is a really exciting time to be involved. I truly believe that, I'm very optimistic. Just a few months ago, I had the opportunity to attend the Chiropractic Congress in San Diego. It used to be called COXA. Uh, the Chiropractic Congress is essentially where every state or organization in the country gets together. There were 43 states there in San Diego and they got to talk about the state of chiropractic in their state, what's going on, what's right, what's wrong. It was amazing, we had the ICA there, the, I, the ACA there, the, all the licensing boards were there. And it was just amazing the people that were there to listen to what's happening in chiropractic. Uh, Dr. Reitman stood up and said, as chiropractors, until we have a strategic plan nationally, we're gonna have trouble going forward. And the Chiropractic Congress took it upon itself and was, asked to take charge of creating a strategic plan for chiropractic going forward. It was amazingly optimistic. I hope we all get to hear more about it as it goes on. Wow, I left there thinking, chiropractic's got a fantastic future. So keep your eye open and ears open for Chiropractic Congress and what they're doing to promote chiropractic nationally. It was completely amazing. I'm delighted to report here in Washington State, based on that experience that I had, and I've been down there a couple of times, that we are a leader. People look up to Washington. Sometimes people say, what are you doing in Washington? People across the country are saying, wow, I wish we were like Washington. And they believe that because of our legislative advocacy, thank you, Lori, our membership development, thank you, Shaska and Jeff, groundbreaking partnerships, innovative policy reforms, and our staff is amazing and dedicated and responsive. And I gotta tell you, I've met some of the staffs from other states. We've got an amazing, staff representing you. You need something done, please call. It'll be addressed by our staff. Sadly, a state chiropractor recently commented that as an association, we're a pit bull without teeth. I didn't like that. And I really beg to differ. We have teeth, but we need, we need a lot more dogs in the fight. And that means members, members, members out there fighting just like the rest of us do. We're an amazing association, but participation is extremely important. It's not been easy, probably never will be. And you can take note that there's one unified voice in Washington, and that is the WSCA, and we're fighting for you all the time, all the time, all the time. Those of you that follow our newsletters will know that our lobbyist, Lori Grassi, has a very difficult job. It's amazing to me what she does. She's constantly in Olympia right now. She'll call you back when she can in between meetings with people. And she's down there and she's known as a person that gets wins. And we really love her for that. And they might not always be the wins that we want, but every single time we're down there, and even the littlest win is a stepping stone and more respect for chiropractic. It's 
you get a chance, shake her hand because she's really important to me in the association. Even now, she's working to restrain the currently unregulated healthcare managers. You talked about that, and they chip away at our earnings, which really irritates me, and you are really the shield that makes that happen, and I'm thrilled to have you down there. For over a century, other professions have disparaged our work, claiming we've provided no benefit to those in our care, yet in recent years, the very same professions that have been climbing over each other now, that disliked us for so long, are saying, hey, can we uh, manipulate the spine? Would you work with us? And I gotta tell you, very, and, and you'll have to ask Lori more about this, she was at the medical board, the medical board wants to do spinal manipulation and they wanted our permission. I, can you even believe that? Lori was there representing us, and I think the thing that she said that blew me away and I loved it was, dear medical board, I want to thank you for acknowledging that after all these years that we were right and that spinal manipulation is the primary course of care for these patients. We're all smiling, saying, oh yes, that's, yeah, that's fine, hoping that she's gonna endorse them and allow them to spinal manipulate, but then she stopped and said, but I want you to know, you are not gonna be allowed to do spinal manipulation. And went into some fantastic statistics that I'll let Lori tell you one day that are completely amazing as to why these guys should not be manipulated, manipulating. They're not trained, they're not safe. Who's the best trained? Who are the best people to do this chiropractors? And we're gonna keep it that way. So thank you, Lori, for doing that. <coughs> Those are the kind of statements that I wish I could come up with. I gotta write it down as you can tell. <laughs> And know this, the WSC has been there at every turn holding back those who would infringe on our corner of healthcare, <clears throat> ensuring that in the eyes of lawmakers and third party payers that we remain the experts. Everybody knows this. 94% of all spinal man manipulations are done by chiropractors. That's amazing to me and I love it. We are also actively, I usually use the word adjustment, but manipulation came up because that's just a generally accepted term. We're also acting, actively working towards expanding Medicaid coverage to include chiropractic, Lori talks about that. Some of us in the state don't want that, they don't see any value in that. To me, it's a stepping stone, it's a principle. Everybody should be allowed to have chiropractic care. They have horrible reimbursement, I don't care. They're at the end of the chain of people that need our care, and I think that once we get those people advocating for us, we can go anywhere. So we're working hard on that. As we do this, the association has also seen record growth, which I cannot tell you how happy that makes me. Our membership numbers have reached record high this year. This year, thank you, Shotgun Jeff. We could hit in 2020 a thousand members. Now think about that. I mean, it, it's a it's a big goal, but it could happen. We've got 1,500 practicing chiropractors. If we got a thousand, that's crazy great. So talk it up. It's, it's important because even if you can't be here, even if you can't participate, that dollar that you pay as an association member really does go for good things for our membership. I am extremely excited about that. I got that news this week and I'm really thrilled, Jeff. Thank you so much because I know you're working hard on that. We have actively sought out new partnerships, bringing in a variety of cor corporate members representing multiple industries. Again, thank you, corporate members. We have expanded the benefits of our membership to include membership with both the Foundation for Chiropractic Progress Please take some time to look at that. That's part of the Congress of Chiropractic. They're amazing. They're promoting chiropractic all over the country. They do some really great things. And another one would be the American Academy of Spinal Physicians getting our foot in the door of a broad spectrum of people to take care of the spine. Our premium membership program has grown over the past year. If you don't know what that is, please speak to Shaka or Jeff. It's amazing what you get with our premium membership and it's gonna get better as years to come. With every new partnership we develop, we aim to connect our members and their patients with the latest and best products and services we're developing revenue streams for our members. We want to be flush with money. We're not flush, we're getting there, but we want to be flush with money because that's a dollar that can go to make our profession better. And finally, we move into a new decade and the next 125 years of chiropractic, we're looking to drive engagement with our members even more. And so just in conclusion, along with myself and others who have carried the torch this far, we are excited to see the next chapter of the association. And I would have to say I consider myself an old dog. Uh, Schweitzer and Chris, you're getting to be an old dog, I hate to say it. And we're really looking forward to see a lot of new chiropractors coming into the association because new chiropractors bring in new ideas and new energy 
uh, going forward. And I ask again that if you guys want to get involved with the WSA, we love to see you go ahead and name as board members. I would like to see you guys get rid of me. The sooner the better. I mean that in the kindest way. So we'll be calling on you and your associates to take even a higher level of participation because the one thing that hasn't changed in the last 125 years is the same thing that motivates us in our practices every day. And that's the knowledge that no matter what challenges we face in our practices, people need and want safe, effective, natural health care options. And guess what? Chiropractic is the best choice out there. Last <laughs> part, together, the Washington State Chiropractic Association and all our members, here's our motto, guys, can help chiropractors help patients. And I really appreciate you.